Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing Real Love Baby by Father John Misty. This is such a great, simple, feel-good song. And it's really easy to learn. It's just three chords over and over again for the whole song. So I'll get you up and running with it super quickly, and then I'll give you some optional, more advanced rhythm details. Let's jump in. All right, so before you get started, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. There's a link down in the description. That'll help you follow along and see where the chords line up with the lyrics. But speaking of the chords, these are the chords. This is the only chords in the song. Um, so we're gonna start with a D major chord. We're playing an inversion on a typical D major chord. So that's gonna be A, D, and F sharp. Next, we've got this E minor also going to be an inversion on that so we've got a G a B and an E um, and then finally we've got a G major chord that is going to be root position so notice the E minor and the G share two notes the G and the B and then the G chord has that D in it and you could totally use one three five for the fingers on that G chord I like using one two five for the E minor it fits the hand better and then it can be pretty smooth to just put your fourth finger down on the D but you can totally collapse down whatever feels best and most natural to you in the left hand we're just gonna play single bass notes on the notes that the chords are named after we're gonna start down here on D so that's like two octaves this is a uh, middle C here just for reference and we'll do pinky on D you can step up to your fourth finger when you play the E chord and then second finger can hit the G chord now let's talk about the timing a little bit. We're in 4-4 four, four time, and that means each one of these measures gets four counts. So just notice that the G lasts twice as long. So if I'm just gonna play and count through uh, the chords as we've got them with both hands, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And you can kind of start hearing the vocal melody over that. Our hearts are free, so tell me what's wrong with the feeling. Sounds good. It's lacking a little bit of the energy of the recording, so I'm going to start doing quarter note chords in the right hand, so just pulsing on every count, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that is a really solid way to do a cover of this song. You could just Take it, run with it like that. Just follow along with the chords chart. See where the chords land, sing it, call it a day. I want real love, baby. Ooh, don't leave me waiting. I've got real love, baby. Wait until you taste me. But if you want to explore further, there's a little bit more we can do with this. So first off, you'll notice on the recording, the acoustic guitar does this little melody on the Ds where it sounds like this. So that's stepping up to a D sus4. You basically just take that top F sharp, step it up to a G and back down. And it kind of turns into this little melody when you do it with a rhythm. One, two, three, and. So to count that, you need to be thinking in eighth notes, one and two and three and four, just dividing the beat in half. And so it's on one, two on beat three you go up to the sus four and then on the and after three you come back and then you just hold it on beat four one two three and four then if you're going to be going down this route with that melody the e minor hits an eighth note early so it's like one two three and four and one two three for when you get to beat two of that measure, you can kind of keep going with the quarter notes as we had them before. So with the left hand, it'll sound like one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Another detail you can add is um, on the G, sometimes he goes to a G6 chord. Um, so, and that actually is really helpful if you do that other fingering I was talking about, one, two, four on the G. Um, I'll probably throw it in sometimes on the second measure of G, 
and you can just add your pinky down on that E. It just gives it a little bit of color. You can really hear the guitar doing that on the intro. And speaking of the intro, the band hasn't really kicked in yet. So just for the intro, which is one time through the progression, I'm just gonna play the right hand. For my version, I'm gonna do those details with the melody and adding the G6. So the intro is gonna sound like this. Uh -huh. And then you would get into the verse. Again, you could stop here and that could be your cover of the song. I am gonna do a final layer of optional stuff for the left hand to just get a little bit more of the groove happening. Main thing is I'm gonna start adding extra bass note hits, not only on beat one of the measures, but also on the and after two and beat three. So that would sound like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And you can mix and match uh, what you're doing with the hands if you wanna keep the right hand simple and just go one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. I think that sounds really good. Or you could do the full thing. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So that's what I'm gonna do for the verses. When the chorus is hit, the bass line really helps emphasize the real love, baby, which is kind of like the signature moment of the song. It's what the song is titled after. Here's how it sounds. Real love, baby, ooh, don't keep me waiting. So I'm going to move the left hand down a little bit. I've had my pinky on the D, but if you go down just for a minute with the second finger on D, that lets your fifth finger access this A to go real love baby and that is just on the same rhythm as what the vocals do real love baby one two three and it's also the same rhythm the right hand did for one two three and real love baby Ooh, I and then when i get to the e minor just kind of continue with the way we've been doing it that's really all there is to it you know the first verse and the second verse are the exact same we've got the choruses um, the chorus at the end of the Father John Misty recording goes around three times. The third times, you kind of layers on his vocals where it's like the chorus is repeating, but then the verse vocals come on in a different layer. You can't do that if it's just you. You could pick or choose if you wanted to sing a third chorus or another verse, or maybe you have a friend uh, that can sing over the top of it with you. I think for my version, I'm just gonna do two repeats instead of three. And also his recording starts to fade out, which is hard to do on piano. So I'm just going to end after the second time through that last chorus. Got the preacher's music just for a minute. And just kind of let it hang on that G. If that feels unresolved to you, you could always hit a D to make it sound really final. All right, cool. Now we have talked about everything. I'm gonna put it all together now and just do a full cover of the song so you can see how it all fits together. I'll do the simpler version for the beginning of the first verse just to demonstrate that as well. I think some of you will probably wanna keep it nice and easy. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and also click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one. All right, here is my version of Real Love Baby.